Hello all, today you could take the role of startup entrepreneur or maybe market leader or an angel investor or even a business process outsourcer as we take a look at Disrupt, a game that sees you battling in this business marketplace to be their next tech titan. Now it's medium complexity, says it plays one to four, takes 50 to 90 minutes and we have the designers and publisher there as well now this is a preview copy so components and rules may differ slightly on the final versions of all the links in the description to the kickstarter okay let's take a closer look then Welcome to the business battlefield in Silicon Valley as we've got the startups competing to get their projects built and developed to compete against the big guns here who are controlled by the market leaders. We've got the angel investors here trying to manipulate the markets to make the most money buying and selling these shares. And in this sort of free player setup, you've also got the, the BPO players, which we've just kept out for now, but they also make mix up the stages and the workflow and the pipelines so what are we actually trying to do then we're trying to acquire the most wealth at the end of the game and how's that going to happen so these projects you've got miniature prime you've got board tube these all look rather familiar and ethereum they're going to be developing through designs they're going to be developed here and grow and then they're going to get marketed and as they progress over the six rounds they're eventually going to get popped in here and they're going to compete for market share versus these established organizations that is only if they've managed to acquire a cube of each so if they've acquired a blue design one a, a development cube in green and an orange marketing cube. because if they're here and they don't have at least one cube of each they've been unsuccessful and their shares are worth zero and you want most shares to be worth the most money to take that win there so yep yeah, that's how you are going to trigger the end game there after the six rounds so the first phase then how are you going to do all your actions you've got these sort of three workers here we'll start with these guys so you're literally going to go to one of these locations sometimes you've got these extra worker placement spots so if you go to this column you start at the top you're going to get a like so the resources you've got these little likes there usually going to help you for marketing you've got these innovation tokens and you've got experience as well so you start from the bottom, you're gonna uh, from the top to the bottom. You're gonna get a like symbol. You're gonna get to play a card. So you've got a little deck on the side, and they differ massively. The sort of starter upper has cards that are gonna mainly influence here. The angel investor's got cards that sway the market, and the market leader's got things to cause trouble. So you can see I've kind of got a few bits and bobs out there already. The hackers, so they're gonna affect the value of shares and the money paid. Whereas some of these are gonna bring cubes out and increase the social hype. So these cards are very different from different organizations. So you're going to look at your four cards you have in play and you can only acquire these and play these by doing these actions here. So you want to keep an eye on, you know, when you can acquire more cards to give you more juicy stuff to do. So we can play a card. Then. Now, the three types of cards you've got, you've got actions which you can do straight away. You pay these resources. You actually acquire in this money at the top and then you do whatever it says. You've got cards which are worth workflow cards so you can see you pay the resources again you get this money and you place this on the matching area of the color which is all about putting design cubes out in this case so you can see this player which is important is going to be able to choose to do this when it comes to doing the workflow and that's important because if this is owned by another player they can be negotiated with through shares or money to make that not happen or so or maybe even make it happen if they don't want it to happen so that's where the color cards go there's green ones as well and there's orange ones so they've played a card let's say they've played this one here they're going to get five million and everyone's got these little cool sort of car credit cards you increase your money on there and they have to pay those free resources so they would have paid those and that doesn't trigger straight away you leave that for now so next they get a chance to discard as many of their cards that they have and they can go up this brand awareness track which is great so you can see the further up you go who was this it was those so they go up to 
you get to trigger which is actually the next action leverage trigger where you are so they could get an innovation token or they could get anything below so they might decide to go for experience and the higher up you get so you can see these spots have two of each so two people can go there and the furthest to the left is the first player there which is important for breaking tires but once you start getting up here only one player can go there and there's bonuses for having resources at the end as well when you come to end game scoring and there's some nice benefits for putting design cubes out development cubes and marketing cubes out as well so that's why you might want to go there and leverage as i say is triggering that so in this case we get one of these innovations if that's where we were and that is it next players up so they're like right let's go this one here this icon you can set up your shares for sales so you're not actually going to sell them yet but you take your shares and i should say that each player starts with different shares the market leader will have shares in these the setter starter upper will have shares in their free organizations because they're controlling these and the the angel investor will have, I think it's one share in each. So the angel investor is like, right, I'm going to put match my row. So you can see this row here has got their icon. I'll put that one that one down there. And if you did already have a share down, you know, maybe they had this one already down. You could then relocate the pricing if you want. So you've set your shares for sale. And for each one, you're going to get one of these tokens. They're then going to draw a card from their deck. Great. They can influence this social hype. So what is this then? So you can see that as you influence, so maybe we go miniature prime to the top all the others come down that is important when the public are going to buy shares and it influences how you know the favoritism which ones they like over others and i'll come over to that in a minute and this one is you are going to be start player on the next round next player goes and they can go to any of these ones as well now interestingly if you come to somewhere a player's already been you're getting less actions you get that one that one and that one but the, the bottom one's already filled let's say they go there and do all those then the next player comes and they also wanted to do that because they really needed the like symbol so you can see where you go influences what you're getting and you can go to the same spot as many times as you want with your free workers so let's say someone comes here you can buy shares you could buy this one off that particular player so in this case the angel investor would get five million and this share is now with that particular player and hopefully at the end of the game board tube is worth loads of money when it comes to market share okay this one you can draw a card you can influence the social height an information symbol so you can look at the top card and see what is going to happen in the event phase you can also have a sneaky peek at one of those which will make sense in a moment this track here you got gain some money play a card discard a number of cards in your hand to draw new ones if you don't like what you've been drawn yet and this one is i like this one you can influence the market shares you can increase increase it by going up or down by one so you can just do one of these tracks and that'll make more sense shortly now there's also so we've spoke about the workflow cards we've got the action cards you've done straight away you've got these worker placement cards which you can pop out as well and once a player comes here again they'll have to pay the resources and they'll also get the three million once a player comes here, this one's a split one. So an active player's come here, they get to choose where those resources are going to go. So these are the three resources. Maybe they'll go right one that side, two this side, well, probably that way around. And then the player who placed it, in this case, this player, are going to take one of the sides. How weird is that? But it's, it's kind of cool. So they'll be like, right, I'll take the four million and this like symbol. And then the player who's active and went there is going to get the remainder, but they had the choice as to how to split it. So fascinating, that one. So that's another spot you can go. And there's two of them, and those will be discarded at the end of the round. Okay, so that was all the operations. So once all your work is out, boom, 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 you then move over to the project phase. So those would all be filled with your three workers each. Now, the project phase is where, firstly, you will look at the workflow for each project. So at the moment, there's only one on the board. And basically, Miniature Prime is going to be influenced by all the cards in that column. So this player, which is the starter player by the matching symbol, is going to choose to place two blue cubes. And they're going to go, right, I'm going to place two on here. And this one, they also get to place another cube and they can trigger each share of Miniature Prime and everyone's going to get a million pounds. Okay, great. Now, later on in the game, let's say Miniature Prime was there and we'd have moved one of these on and one of might have been this one first, say. Later on, it might be this. So when you come to this particular stage, you're going to trigger this workflow first and do all the action. So this particular player is like, right, I'm doing hacking. You're all losing a million per share of miniature prime. 
This one's then going to trigger. And there's no cards there in this case. And there we are. This one then triggers. So you can see the flow of these projects and how they're impacted by the cards in each workflow. And eventually, these cards... And I'll go back a step then just to show you what the next phase is. So we have done the workflow. You then move in these projects. So this one's always going to come to the right. And that was the first project that this player chose to, to start at first. Now they're going to have to pick a new one out. So maybe they want to go for this one. And then they get to pick one of these tokens to pop here, which they can see, but no one else knows. And these are going to influence the cubes at the end. So they're going to take off one development and add one design, which will be crucial as to why that's important in a minute. So they've placed that one out. We then go on to, so we've, we've done the workflow, we've moved the pipeline, we've placed the new project. We're now over to the third part of the round, the event phase. So we reveal the top event and we've got Silicon Valley. Let's pick another one here. We've got virtual reality. In turn order, all players are going to add a design cube to a project. Great, so you get to put one of these blue cubes on a project. Could be one of these as well because the, these market leaders are trying to keep these strong to compete against those upstarts. Then the public are going to buy board tube at its lowest price. There is no board tube, but if it was on here, they'd buy it. If there was two of them, obviously it'd buy the lowest price one. They're then going to buy all shares at 4 million. They're going to buy one share at 5 million, and then they're going to buy another share at 6 million as well. And these public shares come to the bottom here. That would be discarded. And we would play on now. In terms of these shares at the bottom, let's just give you an example then. They were going to buy all shares at the 4 million. So if I just take a few random shares here. So they've bought these two here. Those then come based on the order of hype over to the 8 million spot. And because you can see at the bottom, it's the public market. And then these will cycle down. And you can buy these when it comes to doing the action to buy. Now, when it ever comes to a sort of tie, so you can see if they happen to buy from, let's say it was this scenario. Let me pop that there. So it came to which share is the public going to buy between these two? Because they're owned by two different uh, organizations. They're going to look at this track here, the social hype, and they can see where are we? Meeple Book is, is this hyped and Dice Coin is higher. So the public favor dice coins, more in the, the public's the, you know, favoritism and, and what have you. So dice coins going to be purchased first, and that's going to go there, and the money's going to be paid out to the player which track it was on. So it'll be the angel investor. And it might be that the public don't want to buy any more shares, depending on what the event card wanted. So Meeple Book's left there going, ah, I haven't managed to sell. So you want to influence this, which breaks ties. Now, if it then comes to another tie, so there's two Meeple Books, it then comes over to the brand awareness track. And now, once you've done the events, you literally carry on the starting player as the unicorn will go around again. And eventually, these are going to get over to here, and they're going to have a host of cubes on, and you're going to figure out market share. Now, I'll just take a load of random ones for this top one, but all of these would have had some cubes on. So what are you going to do then? Firstly, you're going to reveal this secret location, and they're going to remove a blue token, and they're going to add a design a well they've removed a design token and added a marketing they're then going to score market share which is the red cubes and they start with design then the blue cubes so they've got more blue cubes than meeple books so they're getting two second place is getting one you then go to greens they've also got more greens so they're getting another two market share cubes they're getting one these guys meeple book have more orange cubes which is the marketing so they're getting two cubes this time and these guys oh no there's Yep, two there, so they're getting one for being second. You then have to see how many red cubes are out there. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So one more cube needs to come out because it has to be ten. And you are going to see who has the most cubes. Two, four, five, two, four, six. So these have the most cubes in different colours, so they're gaining the last market share. You will then determine, if I'm right, the bull and bear tokens. So we're going to reveal this, and the market is negative. It's a, a bear market. It's going down one. Now, how do these work then? So if it's in the middle, it's a neutral market. Nothing will change. If it's up or down one, it's an influence of four. So it's going to be down uh, four and up four. Now, I'll, I'll make sense what four means. And then if you're on the end parameters, it's freeze. So let's say it was here negatively. For every four cubes you have in red, you're losing one. So these guys would lose one and they would lose one as well. If it was here, it would be for every three cubes. So they still only lose one, but these guys are 
losing what we got two cubes now if it was up here for every four cubes you're gaining one and every three cubes you're gaining one as well and this is important because you are going to see how many red cubes you got so they've got five versus three so every miniature prime share is worth five million no matter who has it and every meeple book share is worth three million and you have to have one of each cube to participate otherwise they're worth zero so you do exactly the same for these add up all your money you get some bonuses here as well for having various resources most money is the winner there we are enjoy